Good morning, guys. It's nice to be here again. Um, so we are continuing our analysis on the text, Unexpected Joys at Dawn. Today we are looking at character and characterization. In this class, I would like that you should be able to unscrabble the names of um, some characters. That's your starter. It's important you know the names of that, those characters and you can spell them correctly. So, then I would like that you should be able to categorize the characters into major and minor characters. Use their roles. Use their roles. Then I would like that you extray the roles of major characters in the story. So, um, here, I'm saying to you guys, it's a time you are spending at home. You, can, you, you, you too can be a great writer. Just start today. Anything. Start writing. Okay? So, a character is a person in a story. A character is any person in a story. And is created by the character. In the last class, I told you that a, uh, a writer is a god. A writer creates. Then, a, a, a character does not necessarily need to be human. Not necessarily human. It can be feelings, it can be emotions. Like, the, like every man, we have love. We have um, every man as a character. We have love, we have hate, we have money. Then, we, um, a character carries out the intention of the writer. The intention for the writer for the writing. The character carries it out. Okay, so um, characterization is different from character. Characterization is the device used to create the character and make him real and vivid. Even if our story writing is not um, is uh, a fiction and um, not real the way it's as we said to happen, but it must be true to life. So a, a writer must be able to use characterization to create real characters that must seem true to life and vivid. All right. Um, for characters now, we can have round character, we can have flat character, we can have static character and dynamic character. I sent a YouTube link to you that has explained and differentiates these four types of characters. They look, the, the, the lines between them are actually slim, but they are very different. And for characterization, there are techniques that we use to show, to create characters. Now we can know who a character is through the writer's mind. A writer can speak about a character, talk about the character. This character is this, that, read the mind of the character. A character can also soliloquize to bring out his mind. Then we know the character through his own mind. Then other characters view about that particular character. Then, dialogue. When this character is talking, the way this character dialogues with other character, we know who that character is. Then his attitude, his behavior throughout the story shows who the character is. All right, this is all on characterization today. I want you to do all your tasks like I've told you and follow the instructions step by step. I know you are going to do very well. So thank you very much. See you in the next class. Bye.